Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes. Today we're going to delve into a little box uh, from Cindy Loves Jewelry. This was an auction she had uh, a few months ago near her birthday and uh, also a sale. So this was a um, a rhinestone bag that uh, I bid on and won the auction for. So uh, we'll get into that soon. Um, I also purchased this silver and onyx or black stone um, necklace that I thought was just gorgeous. Look at these three strands. Um, I better not lose that. It looks like a rhinestone. Um, with an interesting clasp, silver clasp, and uh, Sandy had cleaned this all up. It was quite tarnished when she thrifted it, um, and I just loved it. And uh, I haven't worn it yet, but I look forward to wearing it. There'll be lots of time in the winter here when I can uh, wear it. I just probably need to untangle it a little bit, but that's okay. That's a, a beautiful, anyway, uh, black stone and uh, silver like um, necklace. And then this was a little thank you that uh, Cindy sent me as well because she knows I like vintage pins. And that's uh, pretty gorgeous with the pearls, the rhinestones. So, Cindy always uh, is very generous in her pricing, in her shipping, and in her little thank yous. So, and there's Cindy's logo. She has uh, her auction videos on Monday night, and then sometimes she has Wednesday auctions. Um, lots of fun. Great woman. Uh, great uh, adventures with her. So, in terms of the rhinestone repair lot, here's a bracelet. Uh, is that Banana Republic? The BR, backwards B and R. It's missing some stones. Two stones, an oval and a. Is that an oval? Sorry, a pear shape and a round. But um, the individual pieces could be taken apart uh, and used in other things. Certainly there's a two pair of earring right there. Two round and two oval pair of earring could be made from that plus the clasp could be saved. Um, so very useful piece unless the stones are in, inside. This is a big pin. I don't see any name on the back. The pin's a little bit but that's easily straightened with the right pliers. And uh, let's see. So there's Missing this rhinestone there and there. Oh, so it's missing some rhinestones, but boy, a few colorful rhinestones, and this will perk right up. I have a huge uh, uh, stash of vintage rhinestones, so I'm going to have a lot of fun repairing that, making them look pretty. It also could add um, color to the flowers or the leaves if you want. There's lots of metal paints that are available. Um, that can be put on so there's a nice repurposable piece oh here is a broken owl oh how did that happen oh it's one of those oh okay i can see how that happened wonder this has got to be the front he lost his tail he lost his tail well you know what that's repairable it might be fun to make it an articulated tail that swings might be easier to repair it that way too because just you can't just soldering it on it will never be very strong obviously it wasn't very strong to begin with but he's a cute guy he's a cute owl we'll see a way to put his tail back on and then this chain if nothing else we could take the owl off the chain Put him on a branch with his tail behind the branch. Um, add some little claws for his feet. We can make a little art piece out of him. He's 
He's kind of cute. I like that. Whoa, this is big. Oh, is this off that bracelet? No. Okay. There's a... Oh, it must be off of a string. Okay, there's a, a bead off of a string. This is huge. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, this is, must be a bracelet. Um, and you attach it to the ring. Well, my first thing to do would be to take these off. Uh, I don't really, that's not my style. It's a, a pretty spectacular bracelet. It's a, a hinged clamper. I don't see any maker's name in there. And it's got all its plastic stones. Nice hearts. Um, I guess for the right person, you know, a bracelet and then the ring down here, but I'm, yeah, uh, a bit much for me. So I'll, unless I find somebody who really likes this, I'll probably take it apart and repurpose pieces. The uh, ring could even become a pendant on a chain take the ring back off lots of things you can do with that to take it apart not the not the bracelet itself it's pretty strong intact but these rings could come off and okay so there's a that's a big piece what else have we got oh a cute little earring with a rhinestone in the middle five petals five petals looks like there's a petal missing there but maybe it's just the way they're bent round. That would uh, that could be made into a little a little charm. What other little pieces have we got? Ooh, there's some sparkly bling. Looks like it needs some cleaning there. Uh, so they have all the rhinestones. It's hard for me to tell. One, two, three, four, five, lots of rhinestones missing, six, seven missing, and some. So this could be prettied up with some, uh, taking some of that glue off. Certainly I have lots of uh, clear rhinestones that I could replace with those, and it's a little pin. Um, but, uh, well, that's very repairable. Could be repurposed too. Here's some. Oops, that's a, an earring that's hitching a ride. So here's some chain and some. Oh, okay. So it's crochet where the chain and the rhinestone uh, are chained all together. So this is definitely something I don't like. I keep interrupting myself. It's a terrible habit. Excuse me. So this is something I will definitely take apart because the cloth is not easily cleaned. And the chain, the chains are lightweight, but the, the chains and the cup chain of rhinestones are very, very, very usable on their own. And I think I recently had something I was repairing that I needed a bit of chain for. So, uh, there. Now there's something else to take apart. This is interesting. What is it? Oh. Oh, okay. So this is a... It's like maybe a homemade earring. I've seen this wire before, and it, it's got a... Looks like it's glued in there. Nice rhinestone. That good size rhinestone, and it's got lots of sparkle. Maybe it's a rivoli. Oh, it is a rivoli, but see by the point on the top. Okay. And you can sort of see that the lines come down from the center. So that's an interesting earring. Um, no good as one earring, but perhaps repurposable. 
uh, missing some rhinestones, but this is a very pretty cross. Uh, no markings that I can see. Nice bail. Cup chain doesn't do it any uh, benefit, but take it off the chain, replace the missing rhinestones, and uh, a very nice cross. Give it a good, good quality chain. Another little sparkly earring. Only one. So maybe find a way to repurpose that. What else have we got here? Oh, this is pretty. This is a clip earring, not marked. Probably vintage in terms of its design. I love the AB coating on that stone and its prong set. So even if we if we needed to grab that stone to use somewhere else, we certainly could. That's very pretty. Oh, this is nice. Pretty pink rhinestones. Um, this is cup chain with um, stretchy cord included, like where they put they 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 thread the stretchy cord along the same channel as uh, the H clips that clip the rhinestone channels together. Um, so if you want to use it as non-stretchy, you can. You just take that cord out and you find where it's linked right about there you can see where it was joined but that's a very pretty color and it's still got a decent amount of stretch so I don't know what I'll do with that yet here's here's a nice bracelet very clean looking um, plastic stone I think I'll just donate this uh, or put it with the kids jewelry rather than take it apart. Uh, what else have we got here? Here is ooh, a peacock earring. Oh, this is pretty. Very pretty. I like that. Okay, so that would make a nice pendant. That would make uh, a nice embellishment to, uh, to something where you needed a peacock in the picture. I like that. Here's a nice rhinestone earring. Just one. Just a few more. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I was going to say, well, it's a buckle. But no, it's a rhinestone buckle. So that would make a nice window. If you're doing like a, a jewelry house, there you go. A rhinestone window. And there's the sash. And you could have little curtains. A. Another peacock button, it's missing a pink rhinestone, but it's actually, is it a button? Or what is it? Looks like it's almost like a snap, but I, you could always, I suppose, drill a hole through it and make it into a button. We need to find the, a stone that goes in there first, the right color stone. What else have we got? I like the variety of little pieces. Oh, that's a pretty earring. Not exactly rhinestones. Those are plastic, but that could, uh, that has lots of possibility. It's lots of possibility. Nice soft colors. Ooh, there's a pretty uh, earring. Rhinestones and then milk glass. Very nice. Just, oh, maybe missing one there. Missing rhinestones are not a problem. I keep saying that. Ooh. This looks like a dance, sort of a dance wear type of piece. It's a, it's got to be a headband because it's stretchy down here. So, very nicely put together, nicely sewn together. Um, hard to clean. Uh, not sure what I'll do with that. Uh, since they're all flat stones, well, except for the pearls. Yeah, not sure. Not sure what to do with that. I'm going to put that one to the side. Here's a... Oh, interesting wired pendant. So the, the beads are wired across the teardrop shape. Has a, a knotted chain, but I think that's just the... 
This looks broken. Yep, lobster claw clasp is broken. This was I have no idea what that says. K Oh, that's got to be Kenneth Cole. So, it's too bad it's broken. Not sure if that's tarnish or what's going on there. There's the correct front side. Now, are we missing some beads in there or are they just sort of mushed that they got out of place? I don't know. It's hard to tell with these kind of things. Those are pretty beads. So a Kenneth Cole piece that's a little worse for wear, but certainly lots of pieces you could take apart, do something with. This is interesting. This is not Okay, I'm not sure. It looks like somebody drew on this with marker. Where's my little shiner thingy? Let's see if that black stuff comes off. Certainly doesn't belong there. Almost looks like somebody tried to draw an eye on it. It's not, not coming off. Or is it? Well, I'll have to see what else I can find. If that were glass, I might, might be able to use some acetone to take it off. It's an interesting earring. It could, it could be an interesting assemblage, this part down here anyway, that you'd have to deal with the discoloration. Got some ideas happening though, some ideas coming forth. Whoa, well that's kind of cool. I like these sort of frosty looking beads there. Too bad we're missing one there. But, uh, yeah, sort of a, a, a shield, it almost looks like a face when you put it this way with, you know, feather head, there's the face and there's the, uh, the headgear, you know, too bad there's only one so far anyway. Okay, this, whoa, this is big. Okay, this is the most rhinestones for your dollar. Move everything else out of the way. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Let's see, that one's a little discolored, but those are all there. Those are all there. How about on this piece here? We got all the bits there. Yeah. There. That looks good. That looks good. So just one little baguette that's a little off right there. But this, I think these would be much nicer as individual pieces. They're very heavy. Like you'd feel like you're wearing a breastplate practically. Anyway, fun, fun, fun. Whoa. Now, this isn't heavy, thank goodness, but it's a nice, oh, that's deteriorating. That's a nice, flashy, I don't know if it's stone or plastic. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't have any, oh, sounds like glass. When you hit it against glass, the rest of it's plastic. These rhinestones might be glass. That's pretty cool. Uh, this would be nice if you just took the clip off the back and turned it into a, a pendant or the center of a turban or uh, getting a little punchy with ideas here. Oh, I was going. Oh, there's a pair of these. I was going to say this looks like one of the other earrings, but no. Um, it's different, but it's a pair. This this one wire looks a little munched. Oh, I see. It's just 
Okay, well, well, it's just mis misaligned. How does it? How is it supposed to go like that? There we are. Oh, it is missing a stone. Oh, that's too bad. We could take the bottom part off and make them into a pair of earrings too by adding something here since this is damaged. Here's a okay, so it's a hoop earring with some Aurora Borealis rhinestones on each side. Well, that's kind of cool. You could do a lot with this. This, I, I think you could put stuff hanging into the center. Um, make a nice pendant since there's only one that I've found so far. An earring, it's pretty. Make a nice little dangle on a bracelet. Well, here's one of these little cross bracelets. That's adjustable. Is it still adjustable? Yeah, if I can find the other side. Pull it through. Oh, I see. There's two, two things to pull to make it shorter. So once you got it, them in sync with each other, then you could shorten them equally on each side. Okay, let's see if we can do this. There. I think we got it nicely there. It's pretty, because it's bent like that. Oh, and it's missing one, two, three, four rhinestones. Yeah. You'd probably want to just, I'd probably want to just replace the rhinestones and see if there was uh, somebody I knew who'd want to wear it. A few more pieces. This is nice, lightweight. This is a button. I like these colors. I have uh, a Monet pin with square rhinestones, kind of in that, that similar design. Another one of these um, beads. Here's, oh, another one of these. And it shows this has got both of the uh, marquees. This one's got the one that's missing. Here's a pair of earrings, hoops with uh, rhinestones. I've never tried to reuse these in any way. Um, hmm. if, I think if you tried to straighten them, to use them as a straight thing, it, they would the metal would all break. But, you know, you'd have to sacrifice one to try. This is a nice one, too. Nice design. Look how it comes to the, the wider part here. And then narrows. Now that's might you might be able to take that apart there because there's quite a, a, definitely a join. Hmm. Don't know. Another blingy. I love that. Love that color. Oh, I wish I had two of those earrings. Those would be so fun to wear. Here's this. And I think maybe this goes in there. Oh, no, can't. It's not a flat back. So it's miss. Well, it's not missing. That's a, that's just a plastic uh, resin in there. Oh. So here's a stone. And I, I'm getting little pink rhinestones everywhere. Because at the bottom there was this piece of glitz. That's, are those holes? It's hard to tell. Yeah, they're sparkled in there, but those are holes. Those black spots are missing rhinestones, but the rhinestones could be harvested. And there's a whole bunch of little bits and pieces here of rhinestones. 
that. Uh, a couple more, a little greenish one, a little uh, piece there. So, quite a few little bits to go with that. I'm not sure the best way to do something with that. Certainly, that rinds those rhinestones that are sticking out could be. They can all be have the glue dissolved and see what shape the rhinestones are in. Here's oh, here's a little bit of cup chain, nice pretty little tiny one. Here's another channel set, missing some rhinestones earrings. Oh, maybe this is where the blue rhinestone goes. Does it? I think that goes like that. Certainly fits in there nicely. I love these. Uh, I love these beads. These plastic crackle beads. Those are cool. It's a nice setting too. So, I think I would put a different color in there though than the blue. So I don't know what else the blue one might go with. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for the uh, this. Uh, rhinestone lot from Cindy at Cindy Loves Jewelry. Um, lots of great things to repurpose. This is very repairable. Um, this will be fun to work with. That will be, it just has great shine. And uh, oh, I got to figure out a way to salvage Mr. Um, Mr. Owl. Cause he was a nice owl till he lost his tail hope you've enjoyed seeing this unboxing from Cindy Loves Jewelry it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes have a great day bye for now